and you can see the red light emanating from the sapphire. The Diocles laser is named after a mathematician from ancient Greece who invented the parabolic or curved mirror. Millenniums later, that invention is part of a state-of-the-art laser capable of producing conditions that are out of this world. For instance, we can produce extreme temperatures and pressures that can only occur in you know, black holes and collapsing stars and supernova explosions. The underground laser lab is built with special temperature controls, an air shower to keep out the dust, and safeguards to prevent radiation from escaping. This is a lead door, and then this is how thick the concrete is. From a control room, technicians manage the laser and the experiments that are set up in the target room. This is kind of a super laser, a laser that will allow people to discover new scientific knowledge. Funded by the National Science Foundation, the Department of Energy, and the Department of Defense, the laser will lead to the development of new technology. Some of the technologies are relevant to defense, energy production, homeland security, and medicine. The Diocles laser turns science fiction into reality. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm Mary Jane Bruce.